Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor and welcome to a new year that we're going to be going through this whole entire journey together. Hopefully you guys can be sticking around for a long term, just like I am with Chia. So today's topic of discussion is what I would have done differently. Three different things I would have done differently with Chia if I was to start in 2022, knowing what I know now. So stay with me on this one. I must admit, when I first started with Chia and it was still in his test net, there was no price associated with this. I don't know why I jumped in so strong on it. And I started buying all this equipment, I bought a new rig, new processor, a bunch of hard drives externally and I had to shuck them and put them into this enclosure in order to start plotting and then it was trying to figure out how to plot more efficiently because originally before the Mat Max coming out I think it was taking like hours to do a plot a single plot even then I didn't even know if we were doing it right so as little time went on and on you start learning about the efficiency of it and you start watching other youtubers and you start experimenting with yourself now i wish i can go back in time just to go back to 2020 or even 2021 because this future has kind of made me look back and hindsight is saying damn i should have done it this way opposed to what i originally had of course i can't go back and change the time but if you were to start chia in 2022 and you really want to jump in on this here's my recommendations the first thing i would actually do is pick up a 36 or 24 bay enclosure just like the one i have here this one holds 24 i had to buy a new card that's not rated so that way when you dump in these 24 drives it's not wasting any space each drive is independent of each other and the reason why i would go with this is because for the money you have this entire enclosure a machine practically a server that can be more than efficient enough to farm the plots that you would make this machine obviously would not be sufficient enough to actually make plots you can possibly build another machine with 128 gig ram and use that for plotting a lot of that information going along with it and we were just trying to figure things out as we were experimenting as Chia was developing but now you know you have options of how to actually plot and plot them fast okay if I had to go back in time I would have picked this up a 36 bay fully decked out machine with 32 gigs of RAM maybe I'll put 128 gigs of RAM and just use it as the actual plotter and the farmer and this would have been suffice that's something you can get right now you know or even dumb it down a little bit and get a 24 bay like the one I have here if space or hard drive capacity is not you don't need that much or you don't think you would need that much or you could probably uh, grow it out a little later on for the cost of it $800 compared to the 700 now of course there are other sellers that may have and offer better pricing like I'm looking at one here it's a it's a 12 caddy that that's for $300 maybe you just want to start off there which is really reasonable I mean even with a $75 shipping I would have probably went with something like this opposed to my current farmer that only holds 10 hard drives and I had to buy PCIe additional SATA cards to expand in order to hold additional hard drives in that enclosure. The motherboard itself only had about six and one of them was already dedicated for the actual operating system. And then I used the NVMe as the temp or plotting drives and then of course once you get these big enclosures then you would have to probably get an lsi board that doesn't do any raid configuration so that way you keep each drive independent and you utilize the entire drive and the space for the plotting that's what i would have done and i would have had probably a lot more space or a lot more storage and plots right than i would have now based on the amount of money that I spent okay so there there's a difference right now now then you're asking me poor investor that's one all right I would get the actual enclosure two I would get the LSI unrated so that way none of it gets rated and you save drives what's the third thing the third thing is where the hell would you get these hard drives because it was a there wasn't an abundance of it we were paying premium dollars for external internal drives retail but check this out guys 2022 parallel minor look at the prices of the hard drives 12 terabyte 137 dollars 10 terabyte $99 I would have went ballistic on this if I had knew about this sooner I wouldn't have spent $160 or $150 on an 8 terabyte let's just look at the prices if you click on this right now it even tells you how many they have in inventory I'm even tempted right now to get another 12 terabyte so right now they're telling you they have about 372 in stock that's a lot of hard drives and let's just go to the 10 terabyte really quick to see how much they actually have before oh this one is out of stock which is ugh. You know, 
I would pay the extra money and just get the 12 terabyte at this point, but I won't be surprised now that I'm talking about it. This whole thing is going to be liquidated and it's going to be gone. Everything's going to be out of stock. Who knows? Hopefully they'll restock it. So there are another company. So there is a, T a Seagate 10 terabyte. Let's see if they have that in stock. They're out of stock of that also. So guys, I just said it. So this may be gone by the time you see it. And of course, there are other places where you can get some great deals. I would, if I could change the hand of time and if I could go back, I would not buy anything at the retail stores. I would not go to Best Buy. I would not go to Micro Center. I would just pick up everything used on Facebook. Facebook, Craigslist, everything. I would pick out full decked out machines, possibly that I know uh, or if a motherboard had the capability of putting 128 gigs of RAM, I would buy that and then put the 128 gigs of RAM. Or if it had like two NVMe slots, I would just buy one terabyte NVMe slots for each and then use that for applying because that's what I was doing here. Even till this day, the same NVMe's that I plotted the 240 terabytes with, they're still going. It hasn't failed on me once. Even though if you launch Crystal Disk, They'll tell you that it's at zero percent and it's about to die but who cares i'm not holding any data i'm not using it to install or run an operating system it's just plotting so if it dies oh well i lost maybe like 60 70 bucks on an nvme drive but it hasn't happened yet and it's still going so those are the three things that i would change if I could go back in time, one, get a full 24, 36 bay enclosure and wherever you can find it. But I've seen it so far on eBay. eBay has been one of the better uh, options in picking up things like that. Or you can probably go to some like PC liquidating wholesaling place that may have that. But most of the guys who, who do that is posting it on eBay. You know, the second thing would be to make sure you pick up an LSI card that actually does not raid. So it's unrated and you can keep each of those drives independent. Third thing is I would just look for great deals on hard drives. I know it's happening now in 2022 because a lot of people are jumping off that boat. They're selling their hard drives. They're selling their plots with the hard drives and the hard drive prices are coming a little further down. That would have saved a lot of my time from shucking and buying and paying premium price for external hard drives that I didn't have to. And of course, this is not financial advice. This is just me giving you my opinion on what I would have done if I could go back in time or I would have done differently if the things I know now. And the price of Chia right now is $102 uh, as of this recording. And I am up on my KuCoin. So I just want to show you guys really quick. I am up $9 and well, I was up $9, but I'm still up on my bot trading on my XCHs. So you guys can take that for a grain of salt i'm still actually active on kucoin and trading it i know a lot of you guys ask me about why am i doing it that way transferring and buying xchs and kucoin that way opposed to just buying it straight out and depositing money well i'm from new york and new york doesn't allow it so it is what it is so guys that's a recap 24 36 bay even 12 bay 16 bay whatever bay I would have opted for that instead of buying a fancy case and then LSI board unrated. You can dumb it down a little bit. You don't have to get the 16. You could get the eight and or if you want to expand later on. Just get a bigger enclosure. And of course, hard drives just look for great deals because remember when you plot, it's going to be going to write once. And then for the guys who actually plot it, OG plots, they probably either still have them and they, they wrote it once to that hard drive or two. At most, they probably formatted or deleted it, just rewrote it one more time with the NFT plots. And I wish I could go back and do all that again. But of course, now that I have what I have, I'm not changing anything. But for you guys who are planning to jump on 2022, jumping onto this XCH or Chia train, uh, I don't think it's late. I think it's still an opportunity because the company is still young. It's still growing. So if you have faith in it, you want to jump on it on this, that's my take on it. Guys, thank you for being here. Remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again really soon.